What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm reviewing the brand new Adidas NMD XR1 Glitch Camo. Thanks so much for tuning in guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So this is obviously not the first NMD XR1 to drop, in fact it's not even the first NMD XR1 that I've gotten myself. The first pair I got I believe was the teal pair and you can check out that review at the top of the screen if you haven't seen it yet. So because of that this isn't really going to be so much a tech review as it is going to be more of a colorway review. So starting things off this is a one piece upper made up of prime knit which is actually pretty great for the price point because these NMD XR1s are priced at $140 USD whereas the original prime knits were priced at $170. So you are getting actual prime knit for about 30 bucks cheaper, which is nice. I went true to size on these, which is a size 9 for me. They do fit a little long, but I kind of like that extra space. It definitely wouldn't hurt to go down a half size. If you get a chance, try them on just to see how you feel because each person's foot is different, so I can't tell you for sure what's going to work best for you. But for me, like I said, true to size worked fine. Continuing on, they've given this NMD, this white and black glitch camo pattern is what they're calling it. They did another glitch camo pattern on, I believe, the original prime knit NMD. And this is not the only glitch camo that dropped for the XR1s. There's also like a black and gray pair. But the reason I picked this colorway over the other muted black and gray colorway is because I have a lot of black NMDs and I really wanted something that would pop and be a little bit different. So that's why I grabbed these guys. You've got the standard NMD XR1 cage, which on the outside has this sort of mesh that's see through. On the medial side, it's not see through at all. It's actually just one piece. And I'm not sure why they didn't do the same thing on both sides. It doesn't really make sense to me. But I mean, it doesn't really matter either, so it is what it is. You've got flat black and gray laces, and then you've also got this nice leather accent with the Adidas logo debossed into it. Moving to the back of this shoe, you've got this really plasticky synthetic leather heel tab that has this bright orange pull tab that says the brand with three stripes in a bunch of different languages. The insole of the shoe is a standard NMD non-existent insole, as I've been calling them, just because it's really nothing. It's basically just boost in there. Moving down the shoe, you've got the standard NMD boost outsole. And I've literally said this 10 to 11 times in like 8 different videos that I've done within the last month. It's not as comfortable as the Ultra Boost. It'll never be as comfortable as the Ultra Boost. And I'm sick of saying that. You've got the standard NMD plug on the back of the shoe. This particular plug actually looks a little creased. And I haven't tried this shoe on or anything like that. So maybe they just pre-crease it for you. I'm not sure what the deal is. I mean, it's not that noticeable, but... I would like it to not be creased. The front plug is different than all the original NMDs in that it's flush with the midsole. It's a slightly different shape as well. And finally moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this all white outsole with this little hit of orange that matches the pull tab. Overall, I really dig this colorway of the NMD XR1s. It might actually be my favorite XR1 colorway that's come out except for maybe that black 3M colorway, which is dope, but really tough to get. The XR1s are definitely a comfortable silhouette. I like the way they feel over the mesh NMDs. They just feel more breathable. However, they don't lock you down as well as the mesh NMDs, which I guess isn't really a huge deal because this is purely a lifestyle shoe and not for performance at all. But with all that being said, let's put these on feet and see how they look. That's pretty much it for the video guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which NMD XR1 colorway is your favorite. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this and follow Fowler Customs and all other forms of social media. Just to let you guys know, some of the shoes that I review and don't keep, I put up on FowlerCustoms.com for sale for you guys. If you guys are interested in grabbing a steal, they're up there. Just check out FowlerCustoms.com. The link will be in the description. Most of the shoes are DS. Some of them are tried on. Some of them are worn. It really depends on the situation. But check it out if you're interested.